a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Exploding Head Syndrome Exploding Head Syndrome, alternately termed episodic cranial sensory shock, is a benign condition in which a person experiences unreal noises that are loud and short, like a bomb exploding or a gunshot, when falling asleep or waking up. These noises are often jarring and frightening for the person. Neither the cause nor the mechanism is known. Though harmless in and of themselves, episodes have been known to create distress or impairment in the lives of individuals. Classification Exploding head syndrome is classified as a parasomnia and a sleep-related dissociative disorder by the 2005 International Classification of Sleep Disorders and is an unusual type of auditory hallucination in that it occurs in people who are not fully awake. Symptoms Individuals with exploding head syndrome hear or experience loud imagined noises as they are falling asleep or waking up, have a strong, often frightened emotional reaction to the sound, and do not report significant pain. Around 10% of people also experience visual disturbances like perceiving visual static, lightning, or flashes of light. Some people may also experience heat, strange feelings in their torso or a feeling of electrical tinglings that ascends to the head before the auditory hallucinations occur. With the heightened arousal, people experience distress, confusion, myoclonic jerks, tachycardia, sweating, and the sensation that feels as if they have stopped breathing and have to make a deliberate effort to breathe again. The pattern of the auditory hallucinations is variable. Some people report having a total of two or four attacks followed by a prolonged or total remission, having attacks over the course of a few weeks or months before the attacks spontaneously disappear, or the attacks may even recur irregularly every few days, weeks, or months for much of a lifetime. Some individuals mistakenly believe that EHS episodes are not natural events, but are the effects of directed energy weapons which create an auditory effect. Thus, EHS has been worked into conspiracy theories, but there is no scientific evidence that EHS has non-natural origins. Causes The cause of EHS is unknown, but a number of hypotheses have been put forth. The most prevalent theory on the cause of EHS is dysfunction of the reticular formation in the brainstem responsible for transition between waking and sleeping. Other theories into causes of EHS include treatment. As of 2018, no clinical trials had been conducted to determine what treatments are safe and effective. A few case reports had been published describing treatment of small numbers of people with clomipramine, flunarazine, nifedipine, topiramate, carbamazepine, methylphenidate. Studies suggest that education and reassurance can reduce the frequency of EHS episodes. There is some evidence that individuals with EHS rarely report episodes to medical professionals. Epidemiology There have not been sufficient studies conducted to make conclusive statements about prevalence nor who tends to suffer EHS. One study found that 13.5% of a sample of undergrads reported at least one episode over the course of their lives, with higher rates in those also suffering from sleep paralysis. History Case reports of EHS have been published since at least 1876, which Silas Wa Mitchell described as sensory discharges in a patient. However, it has been suggested that the earliest written account of EHS was described in the biography of the French philosopher René Descartes in 1691. The phrase, snapping of the brain, was coined in 1920 by the British physician and psychiatrist Robert Armstrong Jones. A detailed description of the syndrome and the name, exploding head syndrome, was given by British neurologist John M. S. Pierce in 1989. More recently, Peter Goadsby and Brian Sharpless have proposed renaming EHS, episodic cranial sensory shock, as it describes the symptoms more accurately and better attributes to Mitchell. 
Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to know more?